What is up everybody welcome back to another video today's going to be a short and simple video on how you can create some really cool realistic fur for your digital garments in blender let's get into it so i have just a basic garment here when i go to my particle properties and i hide this you can see that i have my basic normal maps that are set up from here all you need to do is go to your particle distance then you can click the plus sign and it will add in a new particle system for you. Once you've done that, you need to click on here and put everything exactly as I've done it. Now, my garment is to scale to the Clothe 3D avatars and it's also in a one-to-one -one scale. If you check here, my scale in the item property, it's 111 and you can see the dimensions here. Um, obviously, depending on how small and how big your garment is, um, you might need to change the number of emissions. Um, but just to give you a basic understanding, this is pretty much what I've done. So for your emissions, you want to set your number to 2.5 million. Your hair length, zero. Segments can be whatever you want. Seed, zero. So you must make sure those are set up like that. Obviously, you can start lower and start going up, but these are what I used. Then for your hair shape, you must keep it exactly as it is here. So close your tips, your strand shape zero diameter root 0 0.01 your tip 0 0.005 and your diameter scale 0 0.01 then under physics you want to set your brownian to 0 0.01 your drag to zero and your damp to 0 0.05 then now this is also very important for your renderer under material you need to create a new material so i've already created my new material which is for my hair um, so i'm just going to show you how i did that under materials you want to make you want to make a new material so let's add a material in here then we're going to say new and let's open up the shader tab and then under my shader tab you want to copy the base color of your main material and then paste it in here delete this principled bsdf press shift a to add translucent bsdf and then connect your color to your color and your translucent bsdf to your surface now this new material that you've created, you want to apply it to your material under the renderer for the hair. Now, obviously I have three materials here, but you guys are going to have two. As you can see, I have my hair material set up. So I'm just going to delete that. And then once that is good, you should be good to go and your hair should look like this. Now I will have this garment available on my store that you can apply your own designs to change your colors, you name it. So if you want to purchase that off my store, it will be in the description. If this video did help you out, please make sure to drop a like, comment, sub. I really appreciate the support as always. If you need extra help, join my Discord. I'm always happy to help you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.